All right. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Box Lunch here at the Fort Worth Community Arts Center. I am in the woods today and the internet is sketchy, but fear not, we have yet another fantastic artist with us today as we continue to talk about these fabulous, fabulous uh, exhibitions coming with our new stories, new futures, a public art event taking place at the Will Rogers Memorial Center, August 20th and 21st. Please help me today in welcoming the one and only Cedric Huckabee. How you doing today, Cedric? I'm great, and uh, thank you for having me. Well, we are so very excited to have you. Now, it's my understanding there is actually two of you with your artistic team. I'm assuming that the brains are busy and we just get the brawn today. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> I like the way you put that. <laughs> Cedric, do you mind just uh, taking a moment, introducing yourself and your lovely wife and telling us who it is and what you do? Uh, well, thank you for having me. Um, uh, my name is Cedric Huckabee and my wife is Letitia Huckabee. We are artists um, who live in the Fort Worth area. We also are um, professors. I uh, teach at the University of Texas at Arlington, and um, we uh, we both we you know our works are different. Um, I'm known for my paintings usually, so a, a lot of the works that um, people have come to know me for is large scale oil paintings, um, some of which have to do with uh, family, um, faith issues of community and Leticia is a photo based artist and um, she uh, she she comes from a journalistic background so she'll she'll do projects and, and photo based art um, many times printing out on fabrics and making um, you know things like quilts or dress forms or different types of work like that and sometimes we collaborate and um, and I think today we'll, we'll be talking about one of those um, times where we're coming together and kind of making art um, either together or in close proximity. Absolutely astounding. Now, um, you seem to be uh, uh, dealing with the same things that I do in terms of uh, coming out of the pandemic and getting back to normal. Uh, I think that... Uh, uh, your lovely wife had a, a prior commitment and that's why she's not with us today. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, and yes, it's everything, you know, as you know, everything kind of got turned upside down and you're trying to manage things in a different way. And so it, 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 it should have been both of us here. It would have been great. Um, uh, but there's a prior commitment that she had to deal with concerning um, the uh, a project that we're doing called Kinfolk House. But um, I'm glad that I'm, I'm, I'm available to be able to talk and it's hard for me to speak for her, but I'll try. <laughs> now, um, this of course is box lunch, but as a, uh, an artist, who is always grinding it out. Uh, you probably know firsthand that uh, lunch can sometimes uh, uh, be a bit of a chore to uh, uh, acclimate whenever you're busy doing projects. Now you're actually in one of your art projects right now, is that correct? Yes, I am. Um, Leticia and I are creating um, a space called Kinfolk House. And it's, um, it's my grandmother's old house, which is uh, the, the base of the house, um, is a, a hundred year old sort of structure. And it's been built on over the years, but, but um, it's, it's being transformed into a, a, a type of collaborative art space. And we're, we're trying to push to get it open by February of next year. Oh, wow, wow. So long story short, you're dining on inspiration today. Is that correct? Yeah. 
<laughs> inspiration and perspiration. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh we um we we've been stringing it out and, and pushing and uh i gotta kind of yeah we uh, eat when whenever my hand can run by something that i can put in my mouth i grab it and <laughs> and uh that's lunch now um i'm doing the same thing it is a holiday weekend i uh cooked and grilled and did some other stuff and then as is usually the case I always tend to circle back around to the uh, uh, the easy access sort of uh, meals. So today I'm having some Mr. Jim's pizza and uh, I've already eaten some of it. So it's really leftovers as well. So that'll be my lunch today. And uh, sounds like we'll both be taking it easy. So <laughs> Cedric, you're talking about this project and flipping it to be a, uh, uh, a community uh workshop space is this for all artists or specifically are you trying to get it ready for you and your wife to create in um it's going to be a space where um we we look for creatives um who uh, can collaborate on um art and uh and you know, have a have a profound effect on the community by doing so. So when we first open it up, my wife and I will collaborate on a project and da da da. But um, after that, we'll be inviting in other types of creatives. And I use that word specifically because it doesn't have to be a visual artist. It can be a poet and a sculptor and a musician or um, you know, the collaborations, could, the creatives could be wider than that. Um, and we're bringing those minds together. It could be a fashion designer and a painter. Um, and you know, we wanna bring those minds together and do something interesting. Absolutely. Now, will you be reaching out to seek artists? Is there a way for artists to sign up? How will you go about uh, collecting the pool of uh, these artists for this venture? Um, so during our first year, we're, you know, it'll probably be small, like we might simply have a few projects in the first year and program around those projects. Um, and then as we go along, so I, I guess a, a, maybe a quick answer to that is, um, we're still figuring out those details. <laughs> um, but I think the first year we'll probably do like three projects and program around them. Um, and during that time, we'll probably seek, seek out um, interesting artists to come together and, and be able to engage the community here. And then after that, we'll seek other ways, you know, um, maybe when we can pick up the pace a bit um we might figure out ways of opening up the application process awesome and uh speaking of collaboration it's been a little over a year now and uh a lot of folks may not know this as well but um deborah peoples reached out to you and your wife uh, a little over a year ago for the uh end mm -hmm. racism now uh on the 800 block of Say that again. Fourth Main Street. Do you mind talking a little bit about how uh, Miss Peoples reached out to you and how that particular project came to fruition as well? Um, how uh, I lost you a little bit. You say uh, how that project, um, how it came about? Yeah, how Deborah Peoples got a hold of you and just just kind of expanding a little bit about how you were able to make that happen. Well, um, as you mentioned, uh, you know, Deborah Peoples, um, she's been uh, pretty uh, engaged with and connected to the community, the local community. Um, I think uh, a lot of people in this community will note that it was a really close runoff in the last uh, election for mayor with uh, Ms. People. So 
Um, she had this idea for engaging the community with a street mural and she uh, connected with my wife, Leticia, uh, via um, some type of social media. I'm, I'm not used one on social media, but uh, Leticia is. And when her and uh, Leticia connected on it, then um, that's basically how I got connected to it. And, um, you know, it was, it just became a, a sort of organic flow from there. Like we, we, we connected with Deborah and we got together and, and just sort of collaborated to make, make it happen. And she's so good at um, connecting with the community and with um, just engaging groups of people. And we basically, you know, did our part as artists to um, envision the, the type of wording, the type of process and kind of manage that. And, and it all sort of came together as a uh, sort of collaborative work, which is exactly the kind of things that I think is gonna be interesting with the project that we're doing. That uh, Deborah Peepers, Peoples, was a local politician and we were visual artists and, um, and sort of worked in different veins, but us all coming together, we ended up with a street mural that was pretty effective in engaging to the community at large and abroad. Yes, absolutely. Now it's been a year, um, has progress been made? I'm assuming you'll agree that we still have a long way to go um, but I'm hoping that, that, uh, that we're able to see some small steps. Do you believe that to be true? And did it reach the uh, uh, communities that you were hoping? And how do you feel about the project after a year's gone by now? Um, I think every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Um, the community, the, the project helped to engage the community. It helped to get um, sort of um, be able to, um, I want to say, uh, it, it helped to, for, for us to just kind of show the importance of that election period and elections in general but particularly that um, period where um, there's so much, it, it was not only political unrest, but um, social unrest. I mean, the end racism now had to do with what was going on in, in the culture. And as a result, now we see um, people in different um, professional arenas all pushing for change, different types of social change. Uh, the educational fields, the um, corporate fields, people are asking questions and trying to um, discuss what they can do to uh, socially be better at dealing with some of the issues that we have. So every little bit helps. And I think that it, it did help to kind of set the stage, um, engage the moment of this, um, of the day in which you see a lot of social change happening and we're still in that day, but um, I think it was a help. Well, good. I know that, uh, I know that there were a ton of people behind it. And, uh, you know, I think specifically uh, uh, so many people have been talking about the uh, 4th of July weekend and I can't help but uh, 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 turn that a bit to uh, uh, the Juneteenth holiday and the importance of all of Opal Lee's work here recently and so, uh, so happy Juneteenth to you as well. And I hear about these uh, colleagues, and people pulling together and, uh, and, and trying to move us forward. And I know that there are some artists and some people in the area that have really been literally moving mountains. So uh, uh, congratulations on the steps that have taken place. And uh, we're, we're just so fortunate to have not only artists, but also uh, uh, local people like Deborah Peoples, Opal Lee, and I'll say again, uh, uh, Dr. Lauren Smart, who uh, has also pulled you and your wife into this project of the uh, uh, New Stories, New Futures. Do you mind talking about how you came uh, 
uh, to uh, 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 be contacted about that project? Well, uh, Dr. Cross, she um, uh, very wonderful, smart um, educator, curator, and artist who, you know, if you were to look at her career, she's doing stuff all across the board. But I mean, just brilliant uh, mind, local mind. And when she contacted Leticia about the project um, uh, and Leticia told me about it, it just seemed like a wonderful opportunity. I had always, uh, Leticia uh, actually had participated in Aurora when it was in Dallas. And I don't know if she did it twice or once or, um, but I think she might have she might have participated in it twice. Um, but the fact that a similar thing was going to be happening here in Fort Worth, um, you know, it, it sounds like a great opportunity for us to start a new tradition. Um, and, you know, it's, it's always wonderful to be in on the, the, a new start and uh, a new tradition and a change that is positive. So, you know, with that and the fact that Lauren is is the one who's uh, organizing things, and uh, it was it was a a, a a a situation where we just um, automatically thought we're all in. Awesome. Now, can you give us a little insight into uh, uh, what this particular event and uh, exhibit will be for the? Uh, 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 new new stories, new voices, or is it all top secret until it's unveiled? Yeah, you know, there's a number of artists. Um, there's the large Will Rogers Coliseum. I think that's the building that it's, it's called. I could be wrong, but there's this, the large building. Um, I think it's Will Rogers and it's a tower. And I forgot, uh, the Coliseum is not the right word, but it, the, it's a tower that's there. The and Pioneer so Tower. The Pioneer Tower, yes. And, uh, and so there are the artists who um, have been commissioned to do the Pioneer Tower and then there's several other artists who, who will be doing installation and pieces that are um, at the base or around uh, that area. And I, you know, I can't tell you everything that's gonna be happening because I, I really don't know what all the other artists are doing exactly. Um, Lauren is the organizing mind, but um, I having seen, you know, uh, the group that we're working with, which um, has to do with Aurora and Lauren, and I'm trusting that it's, it's just going to be a wonderful thing because um, the Aurora thing is, is if, I don't know if, if you've been to that before, but it's, it's awesome. Oh, yes. And, um, this one is not gonna be as big. They've had time to develop that and grow it, but this one is a start to something similar. Yes, it's really, really quite exciting. And uh, I know that there are, I believe 10 local artists that are coming out to set up around the main exhibit on the Pioneer Tower. Again, it was all uh, uh, curated by Lauren Cross. And I think there are some uh, uh, really cool names in there. And it is all supporting the, uh, debut of two large scale new media installations by international renowned artists, Refik Anadol and Quayola. Now, uh, I hope I did not butcher their names, but along with that main uh, imagery on the uh, Pioneer Tower, there are also some extremely talented and uh, diverse artists coming. Why is it important for all of these people to come together and be able to show their work as a unit? Yes, and, uh, and that's what's so exciting. You know, um, all of the, the, the various minds and I don't know how many people um, that uh, light and projection is their first medium, but um, artists are artists and, and, and when uh, the different creative minds sort of team up with the Aurora, Aurora team, um, you, you have a, a very interesting and engaging outcome. Yes, indeed. Cedric, what do you hope people are able to uh, take away from this exhibit? 
if there was uh, a singular message that you hope people are able to uh, decipher from all of this fantastic work, what are you hoping that is? Um, I hope that um, people can start to see that um, it's a new day. It's a new day, uh, a day in which we can both um, have a connection to the larger world, but also embrace home. And I think that's what you will see in that exhibition is um, uh, people being able to um, have just just like the title have new visions and have uh, a, a new story in this day and is for instance this is Fort Worth that is um, sort of nicknamed Cowtown mm -hmm. and um, and we have a great history you know in our city um, just uh, wonderful to embrace all of the the history and the way it's it's been founded, and you know our uh, uh, the cowboy culture that uh, that where that we have um, there in our city, but also you know I guess we want to say that um, if we look around today, there's new voices that are here, and there's an extension to that story, and let's let's start. Um, uh, it's not just about embracing the past, but it's also creating together um, a new future. Yes, indeed. Do you see a renaissance coming after this tumultuous year we've had, not only just with art in general, but with diversity, uh, inclusion and quality? Do you think we're finally going to be able to platform some of these uh, uh, voices and artists that we may not have had an opportunity to uh, uh, experience? Uh, prior to all of this change, so to speak? Well, I think that definitely um, we're setting the stage to start to um, invite in other voices and invite in new views and ways of seeing the world. And, um, and, and we're setting the stage to put, and we're pushing and prying and, and saying, you know, we can we can open up um, and and be broader, um, and that that doesn't. I hope what we end up um, coming to the place of seeing is that that doesn't have to be um, a fight. That doesn't have to be like it. Um, we we can be diverse um, and still. <laughs> I want to say we can all get along, you know. Um, it's it, ha it it's had to be a kind of struggle to get to the spot of to where um, more voices, more um, diversity is is being seen and being accepted. But I think we'll find when we start to look each other in the eyes and stand side by side that people are people. Like there's nobody who we agree on everything, but um, we can find places where we agree in ways in which that we can make um, ourselves better, our city better. And um, if if we, what we see were that that it the, the 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 things that are going on is opening the door for that um, that broadening of who we are to exist. Yes, absolutely. Um, I know this may seem like a, a, a silly question, but it's one I feel I need to ask. Cedric, how do I help get that message out? How do I help create awareness for these unheard voices? What can I do to make sure that this message is platformed and more doors are open and opportunities are available? Well, um, Right now, you're creating the discussion, and we're about it, and we get it out there to people. And I think each one of us, um, you and me, and um, 
we we do what we can to um, show uh, what's happening and and just get that that message and that voice out there that um, we want to be a better, more inclusive uh, uh, place uh, for everybody. And that means there's some give and take, and that's just what it is. But if we're willing to do it, we can be better. Yes, I uh, I agree completely, and uh, I think it's so important to uh, uh, create those platforms for all voices everywhere, and uh, and just do whatever little steps we can. And uh, and speaking of that very thing, I'm curious. Uh, People that are wanting to find Letitia and uh, your work as well, how can we find you, keep up with your uh, art, and also keep up with all the wonderful things that you've got going on? Um, our uh, one place you can see some of our work, um, you can see them. Um, uh, our website is HuckabeeStudios.com and on that website, um, you'll find uh, a way to, uh, to get into the Instagram feeds and different things like that. Um, I show at a gallery called Philip Martin Gallery in LA right now. Um, and so um, that's a couple of ways, just, um, you know, you could, uh, you can go to the website and kind of see what we're doing and you, you'll be able to connect with um, uh, us through social media that way. And, um, and, and then you can, you can kind of see what's going on from there uh, with uh, uh, Leticia and my, my work. We have the same website. Awesome. Well, we'll make sure we get some links down in the comments as well today for people that are interested. Um, I will ask, make sure you circle back, see if we missed anything or if there's any additions that you or your lovely wife might be able to add as well. So Cedric, it has been a joy visiting with you. I don't want to keep you too long. I feel bad you don't have any food or sustenance in front of you. So when we're done here, I want you to run out and get some lunch. We need to keep you healthy and keep you operating at peak capacity. That will work. That will work. And um, uh, I was I, I was I was going to take you uh, around camp. Absolutely. Here, but, um, I would love a tour, you know, please. I, I will I will show you quickly. So this room that I'm in is one of the rooms here. It's, it's the only room that's like that. This and it, it, it's it's going to kind of look like a church, but it's not a church. I'm, I'm not a pastor. <laughs> Uh, let me see if I can turn my um, turn the, the camera around. Uh, let's see if I figure this one out. If I can, I, can, I probably can just. But I think I would do better if I turned it around. <laughs> uh, there it is. All right. There you go. Okay, so this one room here, we're working on a installation in this room. Um, like I said, it looks like a, a, a chapel space, but you will find that like, as I walk through the house, the rest of the house looks very different. The old piano. Wow. Uh, my friend, Beverly, what's that? Let's look out the back door. That's the land going back. And we go over. So we're doing a, um, an installation in this room. And then I'll take you out of this room. You'll see how starkly different the rest of the house is. So, <laughs> oh, wow. Uh oh, got dark on us a little bit there, didn't it? So, and then I'll walk back from the doorway we just came in through. I'll turn around. See the little bird cages in here. That's another project. Ah, back room. Amazing. This is going to get dark, but I'm going to cut on the light real quickly. Uh, well, hold on. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. That place looks incredible. Space. You'll see some 
want a, a large painting in here that I'm working on. Wow. Take you through. One side. The front. Oh, I'm sorry. I know it's hard to see. Oh, it looks fantastic is what it looks. Wow, cannot wait till that is all fixed up and ready. Looks like there's some pretty good opportunities now. Huh? It looks like there's some great opportunities now. I think you might already be open. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it, right? Anyway, that's a quick little, like, I don't want to take out, you know, we only have so much time, but that's a quick look at some of, uh, of what's going on there at the house. Here's one of the bathrooms. Absolutely fantastic. That doesn't need a thing to it right there. It looks perfect the way it is. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> let me see if I can turn you around. That's that's wow. it. You know, we could yes. keep going, but totally inspiring. I might that's use some of have. that as well to get me through the day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cedric, it has been an absolute joy. I just want to remind everybody. New stories, new futures taking place Friday and Saturday, August 20th and 21st, 2021, from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. All kinds of great things coming up. You can find out more about it at newstoriesnewfutures.org. Absolutely free. All you got to do is go to the website, sign up for a time to come see these fabulous artists and this great work that they are creating. Cedric, any words of wisdom or final thoughts for all of our viewers out there? Just thank you for what you do. It's much appreciated. Well, uh, you folks make it so easy. Please share our love with your lovely wife. I'm so sorry she couldn't be here. Hopefully we'll circle back around and get a chance to visit with her as well. So I wish you all the best. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to open up my pizza. I'm only going to take a small bite. I'm telling you, no <laughs> sustenance, my friend. We'll see you guys again real soon. We'll take do. care, take everybody. A, we'll be take back a next bite for week. Me too. Great <laughs> take care, Cedric. All right. Bye, everybody. Yeah.